Both the accused had blamed each other throughout proceedings, with a Paris court ultimately finding Yassine Mihu guilty of murdering Mireille Knoll in March 2018. A judge handed down a sentence of 22 years without parole for the killing which had anti-Semitic motives, while co-defendant Alex Karimbakas, acquitted of murder, will serve 15 years for theft, also with anti-Semitic motives. For Knoll's family, it's a chance to draw a line under her murder and move forward. I'm truly satisfied with this verdict, which I find reassuring. We're now certain that our families, our society, will be protected from these people for as long as possible. That was one of the greatest priorities for us. The 85-year-old Mireille Noll was found dead in her home three years ago, stabbed 11 times and partially burned. As a child, she'd escaped the roundup of Jews during the Second World War, and the murder of someone with Parkinson's disease who was unable to defend herself shocked France to its core. It wasn't long before investigators suspected an anti-Semitic context to her death. The son of one of her neighbours, Yassine Mihub, and Alex Karimbakas were soon arrested. Both had criminal records and had become acquainted in prison and had fueled each other's prejudices about Jews and wealth and that Mireille Knoll had hidden treasure in her apartment. The trial also saw Mihub's mother sentenced to three years in prison, two suspended, for destroying evidence.